read a, uh, I read a story you're, you're going to like a lot. It's about a psychic spy for, for he worked for what's the what's the intelligence agency for the INSCOM INSCOM I thought, MS get the fuck it no it's not <laughs> you know any agency any of the letter alphabet you don't agencies? know any of the alphabet INSCOM letter. what the fuck Sorry. do you know about INSCOM Sean nothing but I'd like to learn thank you so when did I you was trying to, when? I was trying to think like what the fuck does it stand for what does it stand for what does it stand for why is <sighs> what's your problem <laughs> <sighs> no problem you've been a big shot I haven't seen you very much I know, I miss you, man. So you've been big shotting around, I see. <laughs> Absolutely not. Sean's, no, been flashing no, the, no, Sean's no. been flashing the plugs money, dude. Really? <laughs> flashing the plugs money, dude. What's he been up to? He's flashing the plugs money. That's all. I'm laying when low. The plug leaves town to go re-up, dude. You go with the plug money. You got, you got like four G's <laughs> on it. You're going to flash the plugs money like, yeah. Plug comes back. Where the fuck's my money Where's at? Where's my money, like, dude? Oh, man, fuck, come on, man. I delivered. When I you've got been here. fucking around. You've been flashing the plugs money, bro. <laughs> how's, it been, how's stand-up been going? You've been killing it? It's been okay. Yeah, you've been killing it. Don't be fucking home. Not really, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me about, <laughs> tell me about Inscom. <laughs> so the dude's name is, I think it's Joseph McMonagle. Joseph McMonagle. Yeah, Joseph McMonagle. He, uh, he had the worst fucking life. This childhood, he grew up in the projects of Miami. Trick daddy, mom and dad. Oh, nice. Vanilla Ice. He grew up in the projects of Miami in like the 50s, dude. Ooh. And it, it fucking stunk, dude. He was... Just had a sad life. His dad was an absolute alcoholic. His mom was like a smart lady who just fucked up and married this dude and then just gave up and started drinking. And pretty sick. But he was to the he was so tortured as a young child that he would hallucinate a young rabbit coming into his bed to comfort him at night. So he would like lay his sister, like well, they, they would talk, like she heard voices, and he was like, nah, all I have is like sometimes a little bunny creeps into my bed and just like comforts me. Because he was just, it was his neighborhood was so fucked up. He had like gang members. He was just like, so it was like gangs. bring a bunny into the bed. It, it was gangs in New York. When I'm fumbling for my toys. <laughs> 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 he grew up in like full gangs of New York. Yeah. Like a dude, I think like grabbed his, one of his sister's ass. So he like went and smacked him in the face with a baseball bat. It, dude was fucking nuts. Oh, I think the, the thing that stopped him was a storm door, but like it, it was really funny. But long story short, traumatic childhood, terrible childhood. He's like, I got to get out of here. Yeah. Gets on a fucking bus because he's like, he's like, I physically can't get out of Florida because it was like the 60s. He's like, I can't. If I try to leave, I'll just get too hungry because it's going to take me two days to get out if I try to hitchhike. Yeah. So he joins the military, gets in a bus, get, gets out of there. And then he's like, he's a pretty smart dude. So he's, he gets, goes through boot camp. His test is really, his tests are really high. So eventually intelligence, the INSCOM is like, dude, we need this guy. He's pretty fucking smart. Yeah. So INSCOM they draft him, but he starts doing Morse code where he's doing like Morse code, code cracking. But you have to sit there and be able to, you have to memorize Morse code in like all in different languages. And he was like, it's too fucking hard. So he was, he was ready to give up. So he just goes out one night and gets hammered. And he's a young man at this point. He's like, yeah. I'm going to show up hammered. Oh, I know who comes. They're going to know. They're yeah. going to discover him. They're like, I'm going to get discovered. They'll send me to Vietnam. Fuck this. I don't care. He gets hammered and all of a sudden, dude, it's limitless. It's fully limitless. He's like, he just relaxed and he was like, oh shit, this is kind of easy. So he figured out the secret. So he you just, know what's interesting about that? What? Getting drunk and I could speak Spanish when I would get drunk. When really? I was in Spain. Because there's no hesitation. You're not like thinking or worried about like, do I sound dumb? This is complicated. That's what happened. He was. Yeah, you get a little hammered. You're like, oh, I fucking know. Beep, 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 Dude, that's what happened. Suck my dick. Beep, beep. Dude, he was. He said there was like translating like 15 words per minute. He got up to like 60. He got Good hammered. for him though also to just be like. This test is too hard. I'm, fuck it. Send me to Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> and he literally figured out how to do that. So he was like, he's like, I was hammered and I like relaxed. And I was like, oh, actually, if I'm, if I stop like putting up such a fight, I can let the world, I'll just like just translate and not worry about if it's right or not. And he's like, dude, I got up to like, I was flying. Wow. So he became top of his class, got hammered, cracked the yes. code, top of his class, became a mill like an intelligence officer. Um, long story there's a ton of that that goes into it but he eventually got tapped by people who were looking into remote viewing and like psychic spying and he was like fuck yeah dude I'm all in yeah so he was like, like top it's called like a um, chief warrant officer so I don't know what it is it was, he was like an officer a decorated guy he had, he had served in Vietnam all that stuff so he was like doing computer systems they had like spent a ton of money educating this guy on how to like install like high level high tech security systems and these guys were like do you want to learn how to be psychic and he was like yes so yeah. he, was, as a high officer, you just read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He needed to be somewhere. Like they had like a very like essential role. He had to yeah. go to his officer and be like, "Yo, I'm on a top secret mission. You can't know about." And the guy knew it was like psychic shit, and he's like, "Bro, don't fucking please, yeah, don't fucking do it." And he's like, 
it's for the great this for the good of this country yeah like if, if the russians are remote viewing we're fucked i need to do it and they're like dude you're really fucking me by doing this he's like i'm sorry i'm doing what my country needs me to do so he goes becomes a remote viewer and you know long story short he he's apparently he said he was really good at it but he became yeah. fat as hell, dude. What? He fat as hell. <laughs> <laughs> he did this. And there was, I'm leaving out so much shit. No, that's great. But there was like the, the, the one part before that he got divorced. It, he, was, he brought his wife to Germany. He brought like a 19 year old wife to Germany. And she, and she didn't speak the language. So she couldn't talk to anyone for like three years. Yeah. So he just had his wife sit in a house like, <laughs> and then, you know, she went back to Miami. She went back and sucked and fucked. She cheated on him back in Miami. Of course she did. But he was so fucking devastated that he. The hoes and tricks, dude. Dude, on a military base, what he did, he was so, de- he turned back to the bottle, started getting drunk all the time. Yeah. And then he started partying with girls. So he would go out to all the military women. So and wait, like, this guy got fat as hell, drunk and started partying dude, with girls. <laughs> he would go, I'm having a banger, dude. At my house, all the other dudes are going to be there. He'd, he'd invite nine chicks and no dudes came. And it was just him and nine chicks. <laughs> and he, That's and he fucking crazy. Him, he would tell them, like, I'm not trying to fuck you guys. I'm deeply depressed. Can we just get drunk and play board games at my house? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And he would just party. But then he got That's the rep- nice. He, he was the, he's this guy who fucking rules. I would love to get drunk and play board games with girls. But the lady dude and like guys i promise i'm not it's trying like, to, I'm fuck not you. to fuck you guys my dick so doesn't depressed. even work i'm it's sad just, dude who cares dude let's just play they would Please. blast music <laughs> just dominate them and scrabble <laughs> like that's not even a word you stupid bitch get out he would blast music party and then he was like it's like he's like yeah dude like i was waking up with strangers all around he was full fan wilder mode dude. this guy's autobiography is so funny because he falls in all the trappings of like the way he mythologic like it's very mythical the way he projects himself. his journey I had to go dark. The military, I was a non-person. I was a non-entity. The military went fully dark ops, dude. It's so yeah. funny. But he got, so he's, you know, that goes on. He's on a second he marriage. He liked it crowded inside. The, oh, dude. He, yeah, he liked it crowded. Very, dude. There's so many things. You just get drunk, <laughs> invite the things, things over, dude. make sure <laughs> it was crowded, and then break out the parts. Nine Break things. out the parts easy. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so then, like, you know, years flash by as in a second marriage. He's a remote viewer, but he's stressed as fucking hell because he was playing racquetball to stay healthy. Nice. Dude, he was playing <laughs> racquetball. He's playing racquetball to stay healthy as a, as a psychic for the and dude. They're constantly trying to shut this operation down, yeah. but he's like, they, they wouldn't let him do it. So they're playing, he's playing racquetball to stay fit because the job's stressful as hell because all the alphabet agencies are asking for intelligence. So him and his boys are playing combat racquetball where it's, it's like as soon as the person hits the ball, it becomes it's three people, becomes two on one. So like he hits the ball and the other two are trying to score on you and then it just keeps going back and forth. But then you you were allowed to check people into the boards. These were like thirty five year old dudes playing yeah. racquetball, checking each other, basically playing what's the game in ba- like twenty one in basketball, yeah. like roughhouse, playing racquetball. But he was like, dude, I had a blazing bl- backhand. He's like, it was. He's like, it was a. He said it, it, a direct quote from the book. He's like, my backhand was a metallic blur of blue steel. Of just fucking, <laughs> just this guy sucks. so fast. No, dude, but, but Monaco <laughs> fucking rules. So the reason he got fat, he was playing combat racquetball, and he, he went to up. hit a backhand. He hit a dude right in the eye. The guy's eye bled. And he goes, "I thought I killed him." Turns out he was just fine. But he's like, if he had, if I had been, my wrist had rotated two degrees, he would have had like surgery on his face. Oh, so my yeah. backhand was his so fast. Backhand fat. was too fast. Turned out it was just a bad cut. But he's like, dude, I'm pretty Still. sure. I thought he died. Bad cut's pretty good, though. Still. Bad cut. So he goes, you know what? No more exercise for me. Gets fat as fuck to the point where he needs like a cane to walk around and be like physically <laughs> helped out of his car. Well, if you're going to be a psychic, it's nice to be like physically. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Dude. So the military, because they've been his original MOS, you know what MOS is. Original yeah, MOS tr- is trying to get this guy kicked out of the military. It's like, fuck it. He's a, me- a medical leave. We're kicking him out because he's, he's unable to do his duties as a soldier. He's too fat. Yeah. So his doctor goes, dude, you're fucking out, and meaning like his pension was fucked, according to him. He was saying like, they put you on medical discharge, and then if they cure your thing you had, then you get less money. If you know, if they, if like, oh, you can't cure fat, dude. Dude, that guy well, just they, hangs in they there. They were talking about his pain, so they're going to okay. just pump because he had he was fat, and then he had slipped disc from obviously a helicopter crash and damn, dude, whatever. That's a but. He doesn't even can't even talk about that. He leaves that out, but just lets yeah. you know helicopter crash and uh, <laughs> fucked up his discs. Fucking Halo went down. It went down. What is, he doesn't, dude. He doesn't even want to talk. That's a whole other book. But, dude, so he gets, he's fat as fuck. The doctors, the, whole, the military is like, they have him just where they want him. They're like, this guy's fucked. We're discharging him. We're not paying him. Fuck this guy for abandoning his MOS after we trained him in computers. Like hundreds, probably $200,000 yeah. training. So he goes, bro, 
he goes in the code. He goes, you guys got to give me a fucking fair shake. If I can pass the military physical examination, <laughs> like, <laughs> you guys got to fuck off and drop all this bullshit. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, whatever, dude. You yeah, walk with a cane. Dude, he took a day of absence, went to a private pain management doctor and just got perked up, dude, <laughs> as perked as possible. And then <laughs> used the meditative techniques from the SRI Institute and like, you know, Operation Sun Street, just classified. Well, I think that's actually unclassified now. He took his meditative techniques from the remote viewing shit yeah. and just fucking ran two miles, did obstacle courses, and did push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucking passed. He passed, dude, for all the bros. That's incredible. He passed, and he said he fully he just... He so tired. Dude, what ha- so he collapsed. He, 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 got, he passed the, the two miles. He collapsed onto the ground, and his back is just scorching agony. His leg kept acting like it was running, so one of his friends came and sat on his leg. To keep it from moving. He was fully fucked up, dude. This is wild. He had to take four days off. He like he he had to go <laughs> get treated and get like his body. He was fucked up. He said his eyes were rolling in the back this of his all head. Like, keep a pension. <laughs> dude, he fucking, yeah. he fucking ran the second mile and just collapsed, fat as fuck, yeah. all perked up. And his, he had dog legs. Still, yeah. His one leg was still moving yeah. like a dead bug. And his friend held his leg down. And then that and then he was able to like continue on his business. Nice. Dude, it's so nice. And then he divorced. <laughs> and then he shortly after divorced his second wife, dude. What? And his son was like, "Yo, dad, can I live with you?" And he's like, "Things are too treacherous right now, dude." No. So he also had a son that was kind of in the wind. He popped up on his son, saw that his stepfather in him had a loving relationship, and he was like, "I don't want to complicate things. Let me get back to remote viewing." And it was just like, "Damn, these Russian submarines are fucking huge, dude. You guys know about <laughs> these things, dude?" You were saying he he claims to have. Seen the I don't know what they're called, but there are Russian submarines that are like a football field long. Yeah. With like nuclear warheads. He was like, dude, I saw these big tubes of metal and I get there. I was like, damn, this is a fucking this is some sort of like Marine, like Russian Navy thing. Sure. And they were like, shut up. And they he they would give he would give reports and they'd be like, shut up, dude. Fucking Yeah, obviously shut up. Get the some fuck fucking out of dumb here. fat guy with a cane walks in and <laughs> was like, I, I can see the Russian submarines. Be like, Why how is this guy here? Dude, it was a whole branch of the military. There was a whole. No, branch. I know, I know. They they tried. Oh yeah, they yeah. had. They went for it. And then they said in 1995, the CIA dug up all the reports. Yeah, and they're still. I guess they like were the men in, who stare at goats type shit. Yeah, that was all from. Oh God, what's name? There was a general who took it too far. So this guy claims remote viewing's legit, it's but not. then guys got too. They got too far <laughs> but out. It's not though. This guy claims to have done live demonstrations for I forget how many people. Where he found, he helped garner information to find missing children. And he, he said he found, like, it was in Japan. He said he found 50 Holy of the shit. Sheet. That must have blown their minds. Bro. Oh. Crazy. But he says, he goes, at best, he is 60 to 70%. He can get good information on stuff. But the military was saying it's more of like using those things to help people problem solve in an out of the box way. So they were like, you know, can we just conjure up stuff about like, what's this? Where's this? But he, they said they had files where it'd be like, they'd put a manila envelope with a picture of a building the guy's never seen. And that was blind to the, like the person doing the thing. Yeah. And they'd have to sit and sketch things. And afterwards they'd both open it and be like, what the fuck? But, you know, obviously, you know, you could be like squares. I see a square. And yeah. It's like, holy fucking shit. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was, it was, but the military, it was, it was so funny because people would be like, dude, please <laughs> officers. <laughs> literally. his officers would be like dude please we beg you to come back and run our computers for us and stop fucking being a psychic and he'd be yeah. like my country needs me brother they're like dude I, I would keep the psychic job I'd be like this shit's sick dude all I have to do is lie to people constantly it was kind of goat dude it was kind of goat dude he would sit there all day but he said they got slammed he said they were getting crushed with import reports like they were like the fbi wanted to actually like yeah. everyone is like what's up we need this we need this he claims to have things saying that they gave he gave credible information like the fbi cia and all that Try one, they're good it's good nicotine so he claim he claims a lot of the reports got burnt and shredded yeah he put in a retirement as a psychic he put in his retirement is two weeks in and his general shredded it so he went to check he's like yo what's up with my retirement notice and they're like Oh, yeah, they, they said that you said you didn't want to retire anymore. And he's like, what the fuck? He's like, the guy's like, I shredded it. He's like, I did not tell you to shred it. He's like, oh, the general said we could change your mind. Whoa. So he claims that Gen- I think it was General Stubbin- Stubblebine. That was the that gen- motherfucker. That was the head general being like, hold on. That was the guy who was doing the bending spoon parties and took it to like the really weird paranormal okay. stuff. But he was saying, you close your eyes, and you learn how to remote view. And he was like, 
uh, who's he, who's the name of the? There was a top guy at the Stanford Research Inst- Institute, Ego Swami or something. He, that was a guy who claimed he could train anyone without psychic capability to learn how to remote view by double blind procedures. Mm. Pretty tight. But I haven't finished the book yet. Yeah. So there was that guy talking about being so fat and getting perked up. And, and that's sorry. I could. That was that that's made me, really that fun. pumped me up so hard. It should pump you up. That's it's as tight. fun as it gets. Lying to women and saying there's a party and just having them play board games with you. Yeah. Because you're sad. It really is a fucking cool move. It's tight this guy was a genius obviously he was you have to be a fucking complete psycho to do that (laughs) you have to be a fucking psycho he was just blasting probably like Def Leppard but it worked for sure would like all it takes is three to stay now you got a board game going party dude now you got all sides of this board party dude these are military these are lonely ladies too dude oh military wives these are military these are military women like enlisted military women oh so just lesbians they're pumped on boards games for sure shoots and ladders let's go Playing family, playing life. <laughs> subscribe. Hit the fucking nose. Smash that motherfucking. Uh, subscribe. When people say that, it drives me nuts. Uh, it's infuriating. The wow, wow, Wes.